How long has this ankle pain been? About three weeks. Three weeks? Okay. Do you remember anything that really set it off? I was doing step ups and I think I was tired because I was on the last set and last rep. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of came down funny and I said to the person I was working out with, I think something's wrong, tried to do it a few more times and then I thought, okay, this could go really badly if I keep going. Okay. So I stopped. And since you stopping your physical activity, have you tried running since then? Mm -hmm. I know you mentioned yes. to me that you ran yesterday, was it? Yesterday, yeah. Yesterday? Okay. Tried to. You attempted to. Attempted to. All right. And how long were you running for before you said, hey, I got to stop this? Immediately. Immediately. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to first start with is just teaching you how to get your foot muscles to be working. The intrinsic foot muscles. Okay. So I'm going to grab uh, this towel just on the other side. I'm going to get your socks off again. I'm going to pull this over here. So just get your left sock off. So the treatment for an Achilles tendon uh, issue and with regards to diagnosis, uh, the first thing that I really want to highlight with you is because you have Achilles tendon pain does not mean that you are susceptible to an Achilles tendon rupture. Um, it's a misconception. There is no pain that will happen before an Achilles tendon is torn. Uh, so you, I don't want you to be thinking about that. I mentioned to you already the reason why you're experiencing this discomfort is because of the footwear that you were wearing and the amount of movement that was going on in your shoe with your heel. So right now my main focus is trying to increase the length of the muscle up into the calf and into the Achilles tendon, which is just right through here. So I'll use a variety of things for that. Remember I'll use my gua sha tool, which you love so much and uh, my, my fingers, okay? So right now, I'm just gonna go on both sides of the Achilles, and I'm just going to provide what we call a soft tissue instrument uh, therapy to the area, okay? Some of it may be uncomfortable, and if you do need to make some noise, enjoy it. <laughs> okay? Good, keep going. Quicker. Nice. Okay, so when you were going slower, fast is better. Okay, when you were going slower though, where were you feeling it? Right where we were? Okay, so then I want you to come over here and I want you to just to, we're actually gonna target the Achilles tendon. We're gonna really stretch, stretch it, okay? So you're gonna put both hands just like this for me. And I want you to pull yourself in, and I want you to get a nice stretch on the back end of that Achilles tendon. Okay? Same one, just that one. Yeah. Okay? And try to pull your hip into the pull. Up, up into the calf as well, right? Good, 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 good. Okay. Okay, one big breath. It's okay. So earlier, if you recall, uh, Kike, my, my patient who came in with the Achilles uh, tendon issue, this was her running shoe. This running shoe fails all four of the tests that you want to determine if you have a proper shoe. The first test is the fold test. If the shoe can fold over like this, it's not a good shoe. If you can wring it out like a dish rag, test two, not a good shoe. If you are pressing on the inside of the shoe and you can completely collapse it like this, also not a good shoe. And then lastly, the counter, the heel counter. And this is her biggest problem. This heel counter is super, super soft. Look at that, I can completely collapse it. If you look at an okay shoe, it's not as bad because you can see it's pretty stiff, but this is probably the best. Look how stiff that is. I cannot even compress that. This is what we would call a stiff heel counter, and this would be the ideal shoe to wear. Again, I'll go through those other uh, three tests. Difficult to twist, hard to bend in half, and lastly, I can never push the inside part of the foot. Those are the four tests that you want to make sure that your running shoe has. Unfortunately, she didn't, and that's why she had that heel pain.